Good day, Sven the Slayer here once again, and welcome back to Star Maid. This will be episode 5 of my Practical Logic series, and in today's episode I'll be going over gravity and interacting with logic. Okay, so there's currently only two ways to interact with a gravity module through logic, and that is either by an activator interacted with um, by the player itself, or an area control trigger activated by a player. So that'll be C and then V onto um, C on the activator, V onto the gravity module. It doesn't have to be next to it, it can be anywhere. But the area trigger does have to be next to the activator linked to the gravity module. If you have any other circuit linking up to an activator next to the gravity module, that will not work. So that will not allow you to control gravity. So um, gravity will also be controlled through any state change, so going high, going low, it doesn't matter. So if I set it high, I get gravity. If I set it low, I am now out of gravity. And if I pass through my area control trigger, you see that I'm now in gravity. And it'll also switch between gravity states. And if you're triggering a like gravity state, it'll toggle. So with that, you can build nice little elevators. So over here, I have a horizontal elevator. And it's really easy to build. And I won't even be going over it so easy. You just download this ship and look at the circuit yourself. I will, be, however, be going over this simple um, two-story gravity elevator. It's fairly easy to build as well. Just takes like a single uh, pulse limiter and a couple buttons and it allows you to go up and down as well as having a door to prevent other people from entering while it's in while it is functioning so let's show you how to build that so I already have the frame built just for simplicity you don't need to watch me build that you can build yours however you like the important parts are uh, the control surfaces and the doors and whatnot. So I'll just have a door at the bottom, a door at the top, and a door for the floor on the second, the second deck, deck two. So next up, we'll have an activator module here, an activator module here, and then third one doesn't matter where you put it. Um, this is just your area control trigger activator. So the bottom activator is linked to the area control trigger activator and the area control trigger activator is also linked to the bottom. So when you flip one you flip both. This activator is linked to either or, doesn't matter, um, but it is one way. So interacting with this will interact with those, but interacting with these will not um, trigger them. So this one on the second floor will be a low pulse limiter. So to do that we'll select the activator with C and then just place a NOT gate and a OR gate. And then we have to set a delay. We want a one second delay, otherwise you get stuck in in the door here, in the floor. So off of the knot, C, place your first delay, and then second delay, and then into the OR gate, and the OR gate wires back into the activator. Toggle it a couple times, and not break it, and you'll see that it is pulsing the circuit. Now this activator will be wired into your floor as well as a knot and then that knot is wired into both of your doors. So we'll do the um, control surfaces, all the controls first and then set up the gravity so it'll be pretty easy. So this activator also has your area delay trigger or area delay area control trigger next to it and then the area control trigger selected with a C you want to put all of these in your ceiling so you want to have 
at least one space that you don't hit. So you can't place them here at head level. You need to have it at least one space above head level. Um, I just like having a couple extra spaces just to, if there's any lag, you might um, hit this thing and then start falling back through. But that shouldn't happen. It's just a precaution. So that should be the all the control surface is done, so all we have to do is set up the gravity. So this activator sends you up. So we want the arrows facing up on the gravity module. And then when you get to the top of the shaft, you hit the area trigger and this activator, which will set your gravity to down, be normal. So that'll be arrows down. Now going down, you don't actually need to interact with the gravity, you just need to open the door. So this switch will actually open the door for you and allow you to pass through. So let's try it out then. You walk in, hit the button, fall to the ceiling, hit the area trigger, and take it out of gravity. If we enter again, door opens and lets us pass through. It is that easy just takes, you know, one pulse limiter, three activators, a knot gate, well, two activators in addition to the pulse limiter, the knot gate, your area control trigger, and you have yourself a simple two-floor elevator. Um, not sure when I'll be covering the multi-floor elevator. It's still in development. I want to make it much easier to uh, construct each floor so I'll have to spend a little more time with that, but that will be coming in the future. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next video.